Today's art presentation is more than art. I hope to sweep you into my world for a little while. Your eyes will watch as my hands put together these beautiful art pieces and your ears will listen as I tell you this wonderful story of a Christmas box and how it changed the lives in the book and a little bit of how it changed my life too. So I hope you enjoy this journey and stay with me right to the end. Hi everyone, it's Donna from Hollywood, California. It's not just paint, it's all by Donna. And yes, today I am a reindeer. And yes, I'm doing a voiceover, even now. We had some technical difficulties and um, this is what happens. I wanna take the time to thank each and every one of these wonderful artists and, and YouTube personalities um, Dave and Kathy, the Brit girls go stateside. I, I can't even thank each and every one of you enough. Yes, we added Dominic the donkey as a last minute early bird special. The theme was Christmas movies or Christmas music. Each one inspires me with their unique creativity. I'd like to give a special thanks to Betty for creating the playlist for me because I was having some technical difficulties and to Cynthia Porter Studio. Cindy, without you listening to my ranting, I don't know what I would have done throughout this collaboration. Mwah! Enjoy this journey. So this box has been sitting in my bedroom probably about a year or two. I can't even remember what came in it. I knew eventually I would use it in some crafty uh, venture that I was gonna do. So uh, here I am today using it. I have this material sitting in my closet also, quite a few years, more than five I know. Um, I don't even remember what I bought it for. But I thought, today was the day. Let's put it on this box. And that's what I did. So I'm going to speed everything up. We're going to go into a time lapse, which is a great way to watch this. And I'm going to give you some backstory on the movie that I chose, which is called The Christmas Box. And I do hope you enjoy what you're going to be hearing here today, and what you're going to be seeing. In 1994, at Christmas time, is when I was introduced to Richard Paul Evans, the author of the book, The Christmas Box. Had I still been living in New York, the possibility that I heard of this book was probably none. But I was living in Utah. I was living in Sandy. And uh, my husband was working for Zion's Bank. And I asked for this book. It was uh, very popular at the time. Then one day I heard that the author was going to be downstairs at the bookstore uh, writing the same building where he worked and I asked if he would get his autograph for me unfortunately he forgot to book at home but he was able to go down into the bank uh, into the bookstore and he did get the autograph for me and that was on um, on a flyer that they were giving out and it was from Steinway Publishing and it was the spirit of baby sister inspires the story of the Christmas box. As you see that fade in on the right, you'll see a little bite mark in there. Uh, that was that Christmas. Uh, I had the book on my end table and our friends Jimmy and Donna uh, were there with 
I don't know, I think we had about 20, 25 people there that Christmas because we had every single person that we knew in Utah um, come over. And we had a great Christmas Eve party as we always did. And uh, their little girl, Shannon, she loved to eat paper and she ate part of my autograph there. And that was always a joke um, that we told about Shannon, how she ate the, uh, the autograph for my Christmas box. But um, that's just a little backstory on that. And I do hope you're enjoying what you're seeing here. Um, I hope you're enjoying how this box is coming along. I, uh, it is really a labor of love. Each of these pieces came together kind of like the way the book did for Richard Paul Evans. For me, um, each piece found its way into my hands just at the right moment. Some of these pieces, they were the exact size that was needed. I found that totally amazing, and that's how I knew that it was supposed to be there. I don't know if that's ever happened to you, and if it has, um, I would love to hear your little story down in my comments below. So this movie did win uh, an Emmy in 1995 for Best Television Movie. And um, Andy Evans, um, Richard Paul Evans and his family did uh, a walk-on in the movie. Uh, just a little interesting tidbit. Uh, Maureen O'Hare uh, played in the movie also. Little something else about Richard Paul Evans. He did go on to write 40, yes, that's right, 40 New York Times bestsellers uh, since his first book, The Christmas Box. He also writes books for young adults, and he has gone on, and there have been, I believe there's at least eight movies that were uh, made from his books. So, um, he's quite a interesting author, to say the least. So let me go on to give you a little story, just a little bit on the Christmas box. And, um, because I do want you to see that yourself, and I'm going to leave a link down below. Uh, there is a copy of that on YouTube. So uh, you are, that is my Christmas present to you this year. And I do hope you enjoy it. So the Christmas box is about a, uh, a young family with a little girl. I think she's about four years old. And um, they move in with this, uh, with an older, old woman. Uh, who seems to be very very strict and stout and she lived in on the avenues in Utah which was uh, a very exclusive place to live in Salt Lake and she had this beautiful Victorian home and uh, she was looking for a living She got along well with the with the wife and the little girl and you could see she was a little taken aback with with the husband uh, his name was Rick and it 
looked like she was picking on him all the time, but she really wasn't picking on him. She was trying to give him some lessons. Um, He was always working, never home. And that's what a lot of this is about. It's about um, lessons and family. Um, She had a lot of sorrow in her life don't find that out right away so I really don't want to give too much of this movie away if you have not seen it I want you to see it I do want you to see it so um she at one point in in the movie she she asks him uh what is the first gift of Christmas and so I'm gonna ask that to you too What do you think the first gift of Christmas is? I'd love for you to leave that in the comments below. They do, uh, they talk about that in the movie and in the book. It is such a heartwarming story. It's also a heartbreaking story as it goes on. There's an angel statue in the book. And when I was living in Utah, they actually built one of these angel statues and put it in the cemetery um, in Salt Lake City. And these are parents who have lost a child and their little angels and on December 6th of each year there's a candlelight ceremony and it's called a healing ceremony and it's a ba- it's at the base of the Christmas box angel monument in Salt Lake and around the world there's more than 135 of these angels now some as far as Japan and there's even some in Canada Precious Our Time is here about love and family. Always keep hope in your heart. Here are the over 40 books 
written by Richard Paul Evans. There were many years after reading The Christmas Box that I bought 10 copies of his books at Christmas time and gave them to my friends for Christmas. I believe in angels. I believe in coincidences. I believe that things happen for a reason. I believe that we should keep hope in our heart. So the one thing from this collaboration that I forgot to include was something silver. So I'm going to leave you with this. Every cloud has a silver lining, which means Every sad or unpleasant thing that happens in our lives has a positive side to it. I'll leave you with that. Special thanks and appreciation to Dave and Kathy, the Traveling Tramps, also known as Dominic the Donkey, Miss and Mrs. Claus, Lucy and Julie, and all my little reindeer, Cynthia Porter Studio, my friend Cindy, Matilda and Josephine, our friend Jane, Janya Bremick, my friend Janya, Minon Petit Art, there she goes flashing ya. Phoenix Flow Art. Hi, Michelle. I didn't make you do it. Louise McKay Art. Hi there, Louise. Sorry you moved. Oh, bye, Bettina. Thank you for the book, Betty. Oh, the Noel Diary. And Amy's Creative Acrylics. Hey there, Amy. And my most faithful subscribers. Without you, we would not be here today. Thank you all very much. This is Donna from Hollywood, California. Signing off. Merry Christmas, everyone.